Hello Thinkstars and welcome to a new Pandas tutorial. Today we are talking about um, how to work with XML documents with Pandas. Uh, we will see how to read XML documents into Pandas data frames using the read XML function and how to render a data frame into an XML object with the to XML function. Uh, working with uh, XML documents is very important because we often find data stored in the XML format, especially when working with web data. But before we get started with the actual coding, we will first clarify what XML is. Uh, XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. So it's a markup language like HTML, for example, and it was designed to store data and transport it. Uh, the differences to HTML are that um, XML was designed to carry data, uh, whereas HTML was designed to display the data. Uh, and unlike HTML tags, uh, XML tags are not predefined. So uh, let's have a look at the example. This is a typical XML document. Um, in this particular document, we have hierarchical information about student data. In the first row, we have the XML prolog, which defines the XML version and the character encoding. And then comes the data tag, which um, is the root element of the document and wraps up the whole information about the students. Um, then we have the three student tags, which are the children of the data tag. And for each student, uh, we get a name, major, and age tag, respectively. And we should note here that the tag names uh, are defined by the author and they are not any XML standard or something. And now we head over to the coding section and see how to convert an XML document into a pandas data frame. We will use the example we have seen before, um, which is contained in a separate file. And first of all, we import pandas. Then we create the data frame and we say pd.readxml. Uh, and inside here, as a string, we put in the path of the, of the example XML document. In, XM, uh, in VS Code, I can just copy the path here. Uh, you can also open the folder and copy the path there, but I do it this way. And if we output that, we see that we get a typical pandas data frame. Um, like you've probably seen one before if you have worked with pandas. And um, yeah, so by default, the read XML function detects uh, which text to include in the data frame. Uh, as you can see, in the example, we have seen a data tag and the student tags, but um, we don't find any uh, information about the data tag or the student tags here because um, they didn't contain any actual information. And the read XML function only applies the tags that contain actual information, which were the name, major, and age tags, because there was actual text in, inside which uh, can be transferred into the pandas data frame. Um, yeah, this file came from our computer, which we used here. We can also put in a URL here to import it directly from the web. Uh, doesn't really matter. We just have to import the path as a string. And uh, apart from a separate file, uh, we might also find our XML data assigned to a string in the same folder as our code. Therefore, we just copy the example and we create an, an, a variable, let's call it XML. And inside here, we put in the, the data, the XML data. As you can see, it's the same as before because I copied it, but this time it's uh, inside a string um, and assigned to a variable. And reading that in to create a data frame is pretty simple. Again, we say df and we say pd.readxml and we just put in here the name of the variable which is xml 
and the output shows again uh, the same data frame as we've seen before. Um, we might also find um, alternative structures of uh, XML objects. Um, not every not every XML document is suitable for for transferring it into a pandas data frame, and the ones that are or sometimes are structured a little bit differently. So now we read in this uh, alternative structure, like we see here. Um, it contains the same information as the uh, as the previous one, but in a way more compressed way. Uh, again, we have the data tag that wraps around the actual information, but unlike we unlike before, every student's information uh, is now combined in one tag only, where the student is the uh, name of the elements uh, and name, major, and age are the elements attributes, and uh, we can read this in using the xpath parameter. Uh, we copy that and let's again create a variable XML and assign the XML data as a string. And now we read that in. We say again df pd.readXML. We put in uh, XML the name of the variable and we apply the xpath parameter. And this might look a bit strange, but we do it like this. So um, the xpath parameter expects um, the name of the element, which is the student um, tag in this case. And if we output the data frame, We see we get the same data frame again because the information was the same, just was displayed a little bit differently in the XML document. And we see that the attribute labels uh, are the column names and the respective attributes values are the values of the data frame. So now that we've seen how to read an XML document, we will now see how to render a pandas data frame to an XML object using the to XML function. Um, therefore, we use the data frame that cre we've created here. And yeah, the approach is pretty straightforward. We just say df dot uh, to XML. And as you can see, the output is a bit messy, but basically um, this is the XML document. But we can um, add a print statement here to make it a bit more clear, to make the output a bit more clear. So we say print and inside the print statement, we apply the same code as above, df dot to XML. And now we can see that um, we get a way, way clearer output and yeah, it's just a little easier to read than the compressed one that we've seen before. And this XML object here is almost like the initial XML document, um, but there are a few differences. Uh, we do not have uh, the student text here like we did in the XML document um, that we used in the first place. That's because the data frame does not contain the word student and um, by default pandas gives the each row a row tag. And Compared to the initial XML documents, now each student has an index tag because, well, the data frame has its own indexes. But we can change these differences by applying two parameters, the row parameter and the index parameter. And this is how it looks like. Again, we use a print statement to make it more clear. Again, we say df dot to XML. And inside here, we now apply the row parameter or row name parameter. And let's call it student because there was the initial label for the um, in the original XML document. And we set the index parameter to false to uh, get rid of the index tags because we don't need them in our XML object. 
And if we output that, we see that we get the initial XML document or the initial XML object without the index uh, tags and now the row tags are named student tags. Uh, we can also create the compressed XML structure that we've seen here. Um, to achieve that, we use the uh, attribute columns parameter or ATDR calls parameter, like it's called in Pandas, uh, which expects a list of columns to write as the attributes in the row element. And this is how we do it. Again, we say print and the after two XML. And now we apply this parameter and we say uh, we put in the list of the columns to write as the attributes, which is uh, name, major, and age. And again, we set the index to false and the row name to student. And as we can see, we get the compressed outputs where name, major, and age are the attributes of the student tag. And yeah, that's the compressed version. And now we will see how to write an XML object to its own separate file. Um, yeah, we will this time not print it out, but assign the, the rendered um, XML object to a variable called data. Again, we say df.2 XML. Again, we apply the row name parameter and the index parameter. And um, now we will use the with statement to create the file. Say with open. Now here we state the name of the new file. Let's call it new XML dot XML. The file extension dot XML is very important here um, to state that we want to indeed create a, an XML object or XML document. And we say W for write as file. Now we say file dot write and inside here we put in the data uh, variable because it contains the XML object. And yeah, this does not produce an output, but it creates a new file uh, in the working directory. And yeah, this is what the new file looks like. It contains the original information that we've seen in the first XML document. And yeah, that was the tutorial. We've seen in this tutorial how to work with XML documents in Pandas. We have learned how to read in different structured uh, XML documents and how to transform these Pandas data frames then, or and how to transform them into Pandas data frames. And we've seen how to convert data frames into XML documents and how to write them into separate files. Uh, thank you for listening and I see you in the next tutorial.